Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Emily and my channel is all about memory keeping and today I'm making a page with the Laura Wansick and Allie Edwards stamp collaboration. Laura Wansick was so kind enough to send me some of her stamps and I'm so grateful I would have purchased all of them anyway and so it was just an incredible gift and um, I love them. I'm, I'm seriously, I swear, I'm not just saying that. I love them. <laughs> um, I actually, yeah, long story, but I love these stamps so much. So today I'm going to be messing around. Um, I actually made this initial process for Instagram, and so it's the rest of the video, the process video is taken in the other orientation, so it's going to be a little bit awkward, so I'm sorry about that. But um, anyway, I hope you guys like this, and I'm excited to show you how I made this page. So I started out by playing with my 9 inch by 12 inch jelly plate. It's humongous and I absolutely love it. I've been playing a lot with it recently and it's just so much fun. It makes really cool patterns, um, it just really unique stuff. So I didn't really know how this was going to turn out. Um, I started by covering the jelly plate with just white gesso because I thought maybe this would be like a little bit bold. Um, and then I got some magenta and yellow acrylic paint. And I'm just stamping all around it to kind of take some of the paint off of it. And so it was very white. Um, the white being the bottom layer made it the top layer on the paper. And it was pretty subdued. Um, so I wanted to just try again and make another print. And then this is the one I end up using. It was very curly because it had a lot of paint on it. So I needed to press it under some books overnight. So these are the heart stamps from... Laura Wansick and Ellie Edwards. I think it's just called six by eight heart stamp set. And what I love about them is that each one is like a different texture and some of them are really soft and some of them are a lot darker. And so I didn't really have a specific plan at this point. I just really thought it would look cool to stamp these on the jelly print that I made. So I'm just stamping each one of them twice and um, that black mark was not intentional. I accidentally dropped my ink pad face down on my jelly print. <laughs> Okay, so this is all of them stamped out and then I wanted to cut them all out. What I absolutely loved is how each one got a little bit of yellow, a little bit of dark pink, a little bit of white. Like each one is different not only in the pattern, but also in like where it is in the jelly print. So I hate watching people fussy cut stuff, so I do the rest of these off camera because I don't want to make you guys watch something that I hate watching. <laughs> so these are the hearts. So do you see what I mean? Like each one got a little bit of yellow in different places. I just think they turned out so freaking cute. I almost wanted to just leave them like this, but I wanted to try to put some kind of memory on each of them. So I thought what I would do is like eight things about right now, not 10, even though there's 10 hearts, um, because I wanted to leave at least two of them blank. Um, so this um, alpha set is also part of the Ali Edwards and Laura Wansick stamp collaboration. It's a serif all caps font. Um, it's a really great size and I like it a lot and I like all the punctuation that you get with it. Um, so I thought I would hand write the title of each sort of thing about right now and then type up my journaling that each one of those things goes with. Um, so I'm using a Uniposca paint pen and let me tell you these things are the best white paint pen. They are so bright um, and then one way to make them even brighter is if you push down on the tip of the pen like with most paint pens a lot of paint will drip out and so I kind of make like a little puddle and then I re-dip the tip of the pen in the little puddle of paint and it makes it even brighter brighter but it does take a little bit to dry like so be careful like I smudge it with my pinky multiple times and I have to go back and redo it I also like to do the first and the last letter and sometimes the middle letter in a word to make sure that it like lines up exactly 
Okay, so here's my cardstock. This is 9 by 12, and I always, whenever I'm going to stamp something, I always write it out because sometimes I get so focused on the word that I spell it wrong. <laughs> so um, I wrote out the word um, about right now, which is so dumb because what I meant to write is eight things about right now but I only wrote about now so anyway so I'm stamping and then again I, I like to stamp backwards to make sure that things fit so I stamp out about right now without the word things <laughs> so um and then I like to just do a zero like when it's a single digit like eight things I like to put a zero before it just because it makes it a little bit I don't know it's just a visual choice um so I decided to leave it at eight about right now even though when you say it out loud it doesn't really make a lot of sense but the things is implied um okay so then my next task was kind of arranging these how I wanted them and I was kind of going back and forth do I want them staggered do I want them right next to each other ultimately I thought they looked best like right next to each other and then like a little bit overlapped um but here's when I kind of realized I didn't like the white stamped numbers I thought like in the moment I was like oh they're they're cute but I and I love that font it was just my own like stamping failures because the white kind of ended up being a little bit messy um and so and I also kind of smudged them as I was laying them out the white it was a pigment ink and it wasn't quite dry so you can see the three gets totally smudged here and then I also smudged the eight and so I was like ah it's just kind of making it look a little bit messy and ruining these hearts that I absolutely love so what I decided to do is restamp it's the same numbers but I stamped them in black on white cardstock and then punched them out with um in little circles and I just thought that was like a cleaner look and it also kind of matched the title eight um and so I'm just gluing all of those down and then I really was happy with that choice. Um, and I really like the two that are blank too. It just kind of gave it sort of a mixed media feel, but still clean. Um, and then these are some phrase stickers that are from Ali Edwards from a, a long time ago, um, but they're about spring and, and it's just kind of everyday life. Like one of them says today, one of them says spring forward. And I think one of them says look on the bright side. So then the last thing I did was I put it through my sewing machine. So I sewed straight line up above each of those hearts. Um, it's pretty subtle, but it gives it a really cute texture that I was super, super happy with. So this is the final layout. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.